Retooling? Retooling? I'm gonna retool you! Oh, hi there. So I'm your older than average gamer and today we're going to be looking at a few of the FPS titles that are going to be available for you uh, for this new year, uh, most of which are already available. Maybe you've got a little bit of extra money you're looking to burn. Let's make sure you don't burn in the wrong place. So real quick, if you're enjoying any of the content, um, I hope you'll consider maybe liking this video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't. Um, it goes a long way in helping build this thing um, and I appreciate the hell out of it. Thank you guys. So as we run through these games, I am putting my top two first. Now, you know, this is all subjective, obviously, so you may or may not agree with this, but I am doing what I think to be the two best uh, options uh, first, and we're gonna start with Insurgency Sandstorm. So like every game on this list, Insurgency still has its fair share of bugs, and uh, stability was a real issue for it at first. Um, since the Warlord update, which came out earlier this month, uh, stability has been improved greatly. Now, it's not fixed um, completely by any means. There's still plenty of people that are having issues with that, but it still runs uh, exponentially better than it did uh, when it first came out. So bugs and all, ISS very well could be the best on this list, depending on your style of play. I will say this, I think that the gunplay is by far the best out of any of the games that are going to be on this list. Um, the sound of the guns is fantastic, uh, the recoil feels legit, um, and when you do get kills in this game, it's very rewarding. Um, you know, it's a smaller team-based game, uh, communication is important but not 100 uh, percent essential although you're going to do better if you're communicating with your team in this game you know, you're going to find a lot of times too uh, a lot of people would rather just uh, be ridiculous uh, through voip which is also provides its own experiences um but from a pure shooting standpoint it's just it's very possibly the best one here um so, like I said, smaller team-based games, um, you've got Domination, which is going to feel a little more like some stuff you may have played if you are if you haven't done tactical FPS stuff before, but Push, Frontline, and Ambush are going to give you options uh, for some, uh, some different experiences that are, are certainly more team-based. The main drawback for Insurgency, on console at least, is if you're playing on, on past-gen, there's a chance that this game does not run very well for you. Now, like I said, with the Warlord update, which came out just earlier this month, um, a lot of those particular issues being tied to stability, a lot of them have been fixed or seem to be fixed. But with those with those fixes came some other things, um, depending on the system you're playing on. Resolution doesn't always look that great either. But this game has got a long way to go and is going to continue getting better. And if you're into a faster paced hardcore shooter, this is by far the best game you could possibly find. Next, we're moving on to Hell Let Loose, and if you are looking for a milsim experience on console, this is by far going to be the closest thing you will have ever, ever seen um, thus far um, if you're playing on console. Uh, 50 versus 50 100 player matches, um, arguably one of the best World War II games ever made. A lot of people I've heard talk about Enlisted, but I mean this, I don't think Enlisted even holds a candle to this to be quite honest with you. Um, team play is kind of unparalleled as well. Um, communication and working with your squad leader is of paramount importance and can be the drawback depending on who it is that you're talking to uh, some people want a more jump in experience and while you can jump in you got to really be prepared to jump in and start working with a group of people um, even if it's not directly with voice but you have to be listening and you've got to be willing to do whatever it is that is being asked of you but if that's the kind of thing you're looking for man there is not really anything better out there squad might be something good but squad isn't on console it's a very similar experience but that's also modern this is also World War II, um, obviously. <laughs> uh, there's also a bunch of new content coming out very soon for the console version of this game. And with uh, full console and PC parity uh, going to be starting this year, um, players on console are going to start getting to see all of the same content that PC players are, are seeing, um, not only now, but at the same time when it releases uh, down the road. And if you're looking for ways to play with people but you don't know a ton of people uh, in this particular game, well, the Discord communities uh, for Hell at Loose are vast and are very, very interested in, in helping you figure out how to play this game. One of the things that you've noticed about this game right away is that the people who play it are very passionate about uh, helping other people get to a point where they understand the fundamentals of the game. and. Um, 
the that makes the game more fun. I mean, without a doubt, makes the game more fun knowing that pretty much everybody that plays this regularly wants to help other people who are new become better at it and understand how it works. That is something that you won't really see in a lot of other games, let alone tactical FPS shooters. And I guess I shouldn't see other tactical FPS shooters because, I, you know, there's a, plenty of people that play squad that have a, fam a, a similar, you know, mentality, but we're getting off topic. I digress. Next up, we've got Battlefield 2042. Oh my goodness, everybody was so excited about Battlefield. Honestly, I was too. And then we all played it. And yeah, Battlefield 2042 looks really good. It looks wonderful. It doesn't play all that great. If you're playing on console too, it means you're playing on a controller. And if you've ever played a Battlefield game and then you played this one on a controller, you realize something is wrong. And it's really hard to nail down what that is, but it just feels wrong in so many different ways. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you this game isn't fun because some people are having fun with it, apparently. I don't know who they are or if they actually played other Battlefield games or if they're just not willing to admit how bad this game really is. But I wouldn't suggest this game to anybody. And I was a guy who used to suggest this kind of game to everybody. Uh, so I think that's saying something. Um, it's just amazing to me how far it fell away. Um, aside from no classes and no scoreboard and no VoIP and those things, which didn't make any sense at all. Um, aside from that, the audio is terrible in this game. And it's not as bad as something else we're going to talk about uh, in just a minute. But it's really bad. And something Battlefield always used to do really well was audio. It had always had, you know, arguably the best audio from a first-person shooter game that you would find balanced, well-mixed, sound very real and very immersive even though it was always a more arcade style game uh, the audio was never a problem and that is a big one in this one now too aside from all the other problems so to make this quick uh, I wouldn't suggest this to you even if you play Battlefield a lot and you've been looking forward to maybe playing 2042 but just haven't had the money to buy it yet and you've played other ones and you expect it's going to be Battlefield it's something else and I don't know what it is yet but it's not that I keep trying um, but it's, it's just not there it, there's something wrong Finally, we're going to talk about World War III because there's a lot of chatter about World War III coming to console. However, there is nothing official from uh, Farm 51 or My.Games uh, about uh, a port yet for on console, but My.Games being the new uh, publisher for the game does indicate some amount of uh, desire to port this to consoles as my.games is known for doing that over the last uh, several years uh, most specifically for a game called Warface um, and you know so there is certainly indicators that it might go to console but we don't know that for sure that being said um, World War 3 does some things really well and it does some things really poorly um, and it feels like every time you're about to have fun with this game one of the things that doesn't work in it rears its head and, and kind of turns you off from it at least for me it did um, now I talked about audio and battlefield the audio in this game is maybe the worst in any game I've ever played um, that looks as good as it does and moves as well as it does I mean it's like it's like they took the audio from a Sega Genesis game and imported it into this and I don't I don't understand you know how that could have been overlooked but it's really really bad it's off-putting it's you you'll never know when somebody's behind you footsteps sound like midi crinkle crinkle wrap or I, you know I I'm almost speechless obviously as you can tell uh, the guns sound like staplers um, it's really, really, really bad. Um, now, that being said, the gunplay is pretty good. Um, but because the audio sounds so bad, it, it doesn't feel right. It never quite feels right. Getting a kill, it doesn't really matter. And there's some issues with this, uh, with matchmaking um, sometimes that seem to be getting ironed out a little bit. But matchmaking is a little weird, and sometimes you'll wait a long time to get into a game, and that could just be player base. But it also. There's also times when you load into a game and then it immediately boots you out and you have to go back to another loading screen um, due to some sort of a queue issue and I'm not sure exactly what that is. But this game has some potential for sure, but it's going free to play as well and that could turn some people off. Um, you know, this was the game I think that had the most potential to, you know, kind of slide in right next to Battlefield. and as bad as Battlefield is, I'm not sure this is really a whole lot better. I mean, it plays a little bit better, uh, but the sound, again, I can't harp on this enough, the sound is so bad, it really makes you want to throw 
your brain out of the window. Um, so, you know, let's not get too ahead of ourselves either. We don't even know if this is coming to council. Like I said, there's a pretty good chance based on who's taken over publishing for it, but that is still to be seen. Um, if you're on PC and you were thinking about maybe doing the, the closed beta test, I would just wait till the open beta test comes on. Don't spend the money on it because it's just, it, it doesn't feel like like a real well-polished game it's it looks nice and it runs pretty smooth for the most part uh, depending on your system um but there are just a lot of things that it's not doing and you know something else uh it's being called a tactile fps i'm not really sure why um yeah it's team-based you're on a squad but you also have essentially what are cod call-in uh kill streaks um there are some vehicles that are just vehicles i mean that's about all i would say for them to be honest with you there's 10 HUD elements on screen, so I mean, nothing about that feels hardcore or tactical in any way. The time to kill is kind of low, is pretty low, uh, but that's really about it. Uh, it feels more like COD mixed with Call of or COD mixed with Battlefield mixed with something else. And um, if it could just figure out what the hell it's trying to be, it might really have a chance to do really well. But they also really, really need to fix that sound. So that's all I've got for you today. Thank you guys for stopping by the channel. I appreciate it a lot. I uh, hope you're having a great week. Uh, enjoy the rest of it, and we'll see you soon.